he could have jumped on me basically I mean he was very very close to me and then you know after the police got there and he was still with the knives and threatened the police too. This video was from the night of August 18th at 10.40 p.m. The man you see is 24-year-old Julian Aaron Bias, and in his hands are knives at least four inches long swinging beside his body. And then he just started screaming at us that he was going to stab us. This is the couple who had their lives threatened by Bias, and out of fear of retaliation, they wanted to remain anonymous. They say the frightening encounter on Cecil Drive in Southeast Austin started innocently enough with them trying to exit their property on bikes. Baez approached them on foot, and when they retreated behind their gate, he left but later returned with knives and started threatening them. We were we were freaking out, uh, especially me because I was the one that got even closer to him after he had the weapons. Um, and I felt like if he had a gun, he could have killed me right there. According to police records, this area of town has had 147 reports of aggravated assaults so far this year. Austin police arrested bias and court records show he's facing a charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And I mean, there's kids there. My daughter's there. My mom, we all get from work at different times of the day, school. So it's 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 scary. The couple I spoke with says their neighborhood is usually quiet, but now as they live in fear, they want more police presence in the area. But I do think that maybe, you know, more patrolling, more in the lookout. City leaders have previously said due to low staffing levels within APD, patrol officers have continued to be spread thin. We can't have officers out in the public because um, they are going call to call to call to call. So they're not proactively policing and their presence is is not felt at all. But as the couple I spoke with still sleep in fear tonight, they remind their neighbors and the community to stay vigilant because crime knows no address. I mean, you just need to be with eyes in the back of your head, looking everywhere, not trust because you don't know what's going to happen. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.